What's going on? My name is David, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add buttons to your Shopify store. I'm going to show you three different ways. So the first way is if your, your section already has it, but it's just hidden. So how to unhide it and then show the button. Second way is if you don't have it currently showing. So how you can add it as a block. And then I'm going to tell you about the third way to add a button. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what you want to do, first go to your admin section. From there, come on the left-hand side, online store, click on online store. From here to customize the theme, you're going to click on customize. Okay, so first let's look at a section where you might already be able to add a button, but it's just hidden. So if I come down here, right here. So this section here, image banner, you notice here how it just has one button. If we come to the live website, let me X this out. If you come to the live website here, you see it's just one button, but there's actually two buttons that you can have, but we just have it hidden right now. And you might not actually know that. So what you want to do, especially if you're using the image banner section on your website, is click on image, image banner. And you want to click here where it has buttons, or you can come here to the, to the, the blocks and click on buttons. You notice that we only have one button, but let's see you wanted to add a second button. So for here, you could have follow us on Instagram, and then you could have maybe follow us on Twitter. Come here, you could type in follow us on Twitter. And you see now it comes there. So you have this second second button here that you can actually add to this section. It was hidden, you didn't know, but as soon as you start typing, then you come in here, you can add your link. Now you have a second button on this section. So this is just one way how you can add buttons to your Shopify store. Sometimes they're hidden, so you have to come and do a little bit of digging, but there's a way for you to add them. So now the second way is, let's say that it's not hidden, there's no block section, but there's a way for you to add an additional button to that section. So we're gonna now look at the rich text block. So if you come here, if you add a section here, if you come here, I believe it's under right here, rich text. So if you're working on your own Shopify store, look for rich text. You notice here that it allows you to add a second block. Right now, we just have this one block here. If we come to the end of the Shopify store here, we have this. But let's say we want to add a button here that it says learn more or see products. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to our section here, rich text. And then we're going to come here. We're going to click on add block. You notice here that we have four theme blocks that we can choose from heading, caption, text, and buttons. So now let's click on buttons. And so once again, you notice if you click on buttons, you have access to two links. So we have this link here. Let's go with the same thing here. Now we have two links. Once again, you might not know that you can add this. You have to check the section because some sections might only allow you to add one link depending on, like uh, I believe here with the image with text, I believe you might only be able to add one button here. So you have to check the section, whether it allows you to add one button or two buttons. But here, if you need to add a second button, all you would have to do is come to add block, you can add buttons. You can even add more buttons here when you add, you use the add block section, the add block feature. So that's the second way you can add a block. Now, if you want to add a block to a section, maybe here, you want to say um, another link here could say like, check out this specific product. So your shop now would be like to all products, but you want to have a button that's going to something specific. And you notice that Shopify doesn't actually let you add a block. This is where you would need to write custom code. If you write custom code, if you have a developer, I myself, I can help you out with that. Or whoever, whatever Shopify developer that you get, they would have to go in and then write the code that would allow you to add another button to that section, creating a custom section for you. So those are the three things. Those are the three ways that you can add a button to your Shopify store. One is if it's hidden, you just have to find it at the block. Two, and then you have to type in, of course, the link for it to show up or the title. Two is where you actually add the block where you come in here to your blocks and you can add that block to the page. And then of course, writing custom code, getting a Shopify developer to come in, you tell them where you want the link. They can add that. It's very simple to do and they can add this for you on your store. So. I hope this video was able to help you see how you can add buttons to your Shopify store. If you're interested in custom Shopify theme, pre-built, up and running, get you right 
ready to go with your Shopify store, feel free to check out our Etsy store. The link will be in the description. And if you need help customizing your Shopify store, maybe you need help with a custom button or adding a button to your Shopify store, and maybe the way I broke down this video, it was too confusing or it wasn't working, feel free to book a quick call with me, send me an email, reach out, and I'll see how I can help you to create your custom store, add your custom features, whatever you're looking for. I'll see how I can help you. But once again, I hope this video was a little helpful on showing you how you can add buttons to customize your Shopify store.